Hello everyone's everyone's I'm Lady T506 welcome to my channel I'm here for American Horror Story season 7 the finale now since you didn't already clicked on the video go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up hit it, subscribe it's free all day every day and make sure your notifications are on see all right we starting off with Kai in prison and he already has followers even a guard has managed to become one of Kai's followers and in my mind I'm thinking before Kai came to the prison I'm just guessing y'all had a meeting to let everybody who works there know that Kai is a cult leader so if he tried to smooth talk you try your best not to come under his spell but maybe she was you know not at work that day but she's over here giving her peaky promise to kai i'm like really guard lady i'm sorry i do not remember her name but we gonna call her guard lady like guard lady for real you didn't dog on it to come to kai you didn't start drinking the kool-aid too really okay so we have two inmates come up they want to speak to kai and i'm like hold up guard lady isn't your job to make sure that the inmates are all right the way they said we need to speak to Kai, like, we finna jump him. You too busy over here, got your blouse open for Kai. You ain't even on your job. But I guess now that, you know, you drinking the Kai Kool-Aid, you figure that everything's all right when he says it's okay. So, they take Kai off to the restroom and talk to him and say, hey, look here. There are some rules that go on in prison that you need to follow. And Kai, being the ego maniac that he is, has a few choice words. And they get to beating him up. And it's like, look here, before you go ahead and just finish me off, let me write a note to my girlfriend and tell her a few things. What's her address? You don't know your mama's address? So one dude gets to, like, choking all of the life out of Kai. Then homeboy that was with him just, like, stabs dude in the back of the neck yeah just right quick i'm like hold up okay you want to cause followers okay i get that now so dude was happy to help out kai you know the divine ruler but he didn't know that he was gonna have to die too now upon finding this out he wasn't mad and didn't like okay it's me or you you the divine ruler go ahead and take me out too i i agree with this i'm like how why why like you so under his spell that you willing to die for him because we just can't have you you know as a witness just walking away like that you had to get attacked too so we willingly up out here you know becoming martyrs for kai how much time did you have left in prison? Was you in here for life without the possibility of parole? And you've been tired? Why are we willing ta willingly taking our lives for Kai? And I'm like, I, ju I just, I do not get it, do not get into the guy. And I'm trying to figure out, like, maybe Kai, he's so into his psychosis. Because, you know, he always got Charles Manson in the background talking to him. And he's talking about something. I wonder if he noticed he's not going to be taking the bus ride with you. Like, you know Charles Manson is not dead. He is alive and well in prison. So why is it that you think you seeing and talking to him? But I guess he's so far in his psychosis, he's not thinking about that right now. So we have a new... I need some help. Trevor, he needs some protection. He's been getting jumped every day since he's been there. Turns out he was out driving, I'm assuming drunk or high, in his daddy's car, and he killed a child. Instead of just like, hey, let me call the police and take a responsibility. No, we're going to carry this child and throw them into the reservoir. So now he in jail for, in prison for the next 25 years. And he been getting beat up every day because, you know, even though they are, these are prisoners and they didn't kill, steal, stolen and done all these other things, selling drugs, you name it. They have a code. We don't tolerate people hurting children, hurting the elderly, the people who can't defend themselves. We're going to attack you. So he comes to Kyle like, I need some protection and I want to be a part of your gang. And, our, you know, Kyle lets you know, this is an army. This is not a gang. Okay, cool, cool. Whatever it is y'all got going on, I want to be a part of this right now because I can't continuously be getting beat up. I've only been here for a good month and I done already got beat up. Like, like a thousand times already and I can't do this no more so he not drinking the Kool-Aid but he's really he's willing to be down with them just for their protection I'll say boy you just do not know what you got yourself into 
So we back forward to when, you know, Kyle was out in the free world. He's tripping out because he don't know where Speedwagon is. That Speedwagon, did doggone winter get to Speedwagon and they got the FBI like, you know, he's still on this. He's hearing noises and the only time he's calm is when he's in there with mom and daddy, the brother and doggone Ivy dead on the floor. So, you know, he's kind of freaking out. Allie has to be the comfort for him. And I was like, he's so went to his psychosis that he don't realize the doggone Allie is playing him like Monopoly. But you know, I'm like, go ahead, keep on in that psychosis. Allie, I'm so proud of you that you actually kind of helped you out a lot because you would have been over there twitching and shaking in the corner for like the next 15 years had Kai not scared the doggone it's scaring this out of you, if that makes sense. So... Our thing now is we going to go out here and attack a hundred pregnant women. Yeah. He didn't got all of the cat army together. Let's attack them. One of them wants to know how do we know that they pregnant? Because we, I just don't want to be out here just, you know, stabbing just some random woman who just a little big in the gut and not know she's pregnant or not. Well, I guess one of his Kai army people likes to hack into stuff. So he didn't found several hundred what well, a hundred pregnant women from the doctor's office to, uh, from yoga and mommy i'm about to be a mommy class all that all that Mal Mal lamaze classes and they got a list but he gotta let them know you just can't stab them you have to go from belly button on down because the objective is to kill these babies that's what we're gonna do it that's our plan now and we want to get the other women so outraged that they're taking out all their frustration on senator jackson so while he getting all the heat on him i'm going to be working my way over there to the white house and of course they still into the drinking of the kool-aid thinking this is a good idea and this is going to lead him straight to the white house i guess they figured that he didn't dog on a debut his way through the senate why can't he do it through the White House? But I was like, the Senate, that's you, you know, you in the area where you at. You know, trying to go from the White House is bigger, but you know, he in his psychosis. And they are playing into being into drinking of the Kool-Aid, so they not questioning things right now. So, y'all, Beverly, she done. She in there chopping up Daco in it. What was she chopping up? She was chopping up parts of lettuce. She was chopping up something to make sure the men have them a delicious meal. I'm so happy that I'm, you know, she got her knife and she's cutting up the lettuce. I'm happy the way that's going on. She, didn't she just break down like, girl, Allie, I can't do this no more. I thought I was going to be the one that lasts to the end. But Kai, he is a new type of crazy that I was not expecting. Girl, just go ahead and take me now. Take me now. And I was like, girl, ain't nobody fit to kill you. She was like, girl, do you realize that I was willing to kill you and I would have done it gladly and then went and got me a cheeseburger afterwards like nothing happened? Like, I'm giving you your opportunity right now. Here is the knife. Just go ahead and just shove it in me. I can't take it no more. Kai's crazy is something new that nobody in life has ever seen. I can't do this no more i can't just up and run because all his crazy people gonna find me i have a familiar face in this area i'm just going ahead and take my life now but ivy not ivy but Alice, like our plan is gonna work tomorrow just keep calm and sit back and enjoy and i'm like you up to something ally and beverly you better watch out she's too calm right now this ain't no, I'm following behind what Kai got calm. This is, I'm up to my own stuff that's going to take everybody down type of calm. Yeah. So. We figure out that Speedwagon is an informant. He ain't just spying for no reason. He's not a police officer. He used to steal ecstasy pills. And he got caught with like a hundred and something pills. And, like, I will, you know, come in here and infiltrate Kai's army so I won't go to jail. So, he's telling um, Allie everything that's going on. That cops knew that Samuel was a crooked cop. And, like, we need you to go in there and see what got going on. Police didn't know that Kai was an extra type of crazy. They knew he had something going on, but they didn't know he had this going on. And, like, after he was killing his own sisters... Speedwagon got scared like, like, if he willing to kill Winter, what you think he gonna do to us? So, I can't do this right now. So, Allie, you know, 
being the smart woman she is. Okay, so can the police hear us right now? Oh, no, no, they can't hear us. This, this is recording, you know. This ain't no where they can hear us going on right now. I said, boy, you just signed your own death certificate. Just, just like, okay, okay, cool, cool. Then just kills him. I'm like, see, Speedwagon, you should have been like, I have everybody on tape, including you. So if I go down, you gonna go down too. And he could have been alive, but hey. Then she goes to tell Kai to speed wagon. He's the one that, you know, framed Winter. And that's why she's gone. It's not on you, baby. Come on, give Mama a hug. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's going to be all right. Like, Kai is so crazy and emotional right now. He's no good to himself or anybody else. And then you sprinkle in his being an egomaniac. And that's just his downfall. So, Ali fit to go out the house. Okay, Allie, where are you going? One of Kai's army dudes. What's going on? What you got going on? Oh, I'm fit to go to get snacks. It's really like it's good 9.30 at night. Who needs snacks this late? I, I, I is clearly in bed. Well, at least should be in bed. Refrigerator is well plenished. Where are you going? So, she calmly walks across the street. Now, I'm glad because if she had a look back, that would have been a dead giveaway. But she goes to the FBI then. FBI, they swarm Kai's house. And one of his little army was like, did you tell Allie to go get some snacks? Because she just left. The next thing you know, boom, they throwing tear gas bombs down there. Several people tried to jump in front of Kai like that was going to save him. Like, we got all these FBI's. Like, did you think you was taking out the whole people of the FBI? One dude was like, you know what? I don't want to go to jail for the rest of my life. We didn't done too much dirt. If the FBI is up on us and he kills himself, Beverly is looking around like, yay! She picks up a gun and shoots somebody and the police just carry her off and she's like, Allie, you were right. It was the only better. I'm like, girl, do you realize that you got the FBI carrying you up at this house? Kai's freaking out like, what? I thought we was cool. Like, I'm, I'm Oz's daddy and you his mama. We, we were supposed to be killing some people in a minute. And you turn to me and I'm going to get you. I'm like, see, did you really think this lady who you helped orchestrate and torture her for, we don't even know how long. Did you really think that she was under the drinking of your Kool-Aid that, Kool that much, Kai? I think not. So, later on, we see Beverly meet up at Allie's restaurant. We already got some. I'm talking about some, ooh, I didn't read up about you. Can I get your picture, girl? First of all, no. This is the only reason you came to my restaurant. It's not because of my delicious food. You, you that person. Okay, no, I ain't for that. I'm trying to get my life together. But Beverly shows up. I'm like, girl, ain't, shouldn't you be all the way up under the jail? What you doing out here? And why are you so happy to be out here with Allie? Like, I'm just, I was like, when, what is Allie going to do to Beverly? Because Beverly, she did help it make you go crazy. So why are we being friends with her? But she lets, you know, Allie know. Kai pleaded guilty to everything, and I know something else is meant to go down. I don't know when, but I know something going to go down. So, I suggest you not get too comfortable with him being behind bars. And, how you doing, girl? Which, you know, him killing your wife and all. And I'm like, Allie, girl, you did that thing. You did not be like, child, I'm the one that killed Ivy. You just... It was heartbreaking to find out that Kai did that. But, you know, I don't think Beverly believes her. But she was like, wouldn't nobody blame me if you did it the way she did you wrong. She was like, no, girl, I'm fine. I know Kai said that Winter was the only person he didn't kick, he didn't kill. But, you know, he crazy like that. So, you can't be believing anything, anything he had to say. I was like, mm-hmm. But I'm trying to figure out, Beverly, girl, you better than me. Because ain't no way in the world after... You didn't torture this girl. You were over here eating her food, drinking her wine, showing up to her son's birthday party. Girl, no. So, Allie gets a call from Kai while he up in the prison. He telling her how 
The only reason why you was alive for this long is because I thought I was Kai's daddy. So now I know that I'm not Kai's daddy as that beautiful letter you sent me. All bets are off. I got an army up in here and we can do some damage. So I suggest you watch your back. But you know, Allie, she's like, your, your whole mess is gone. Your brother gone, your sister gone, you done killed them, your whole army gone. So I'm not scared of you. And to twist the knife further into Kai, a few days later, she's on the TV saying that she's running for city council. Kai's position. So you know, he is hot as fish grease at this time. Like, she didn't set me up and now she's trying to take my job. He's watching this as he's having sex with guard lady. I'm like, where are the other guards in the prison to where this is going on? But, hey. So, Kai's big plan to escape prison is we gonna kill Trevor. You know new recruit Trevor. This food and already got tattoos that look like Kai. Now, I guess he's so into being grateful for Kai's protection is not wondering why I need to have my hair cut like you and have identical tattoos of you. So, okay, Trevor, I'm breaking out and you're going to help me. No, you can't come with me, boo-boo, but you're going to help me. You're going to leave with me. And he kills Trevor. And then tries to, like, cut up his body to make it seem like Kaiden got killed. And he walks out of prison with prison guard lady. But I'm like, hold up, prison guard lady. You just gonna let, sit there and let Kai call you fat like that? Because he's sitting there cutting up Trevor and talking about some. I know. He said something to the effect of, I know you, um, you know your way around a cold cut. Like, girl, don't act like that. You know you be cutting up some meat, but you be eating all the time. I'm like, you just let this dude call you fat. And then you help him walk out of prison like that? Really, this is what we doing? Girl, you need to stop. Where am I at? Okay. So, Kai shows up to Allie's debate with his army. She on stage talking to Senator Jackson, telling him what you're not going to do is try to intimidate me. I got this boo. Then Kai stands up. I have something to say. He takes off his mask. I'm Kai Anderson. He got his army with him. Where are the security at? This is like a political event. I know we got to have security up in here. Why ain't nobody at least like st like shot a dart at him? Nothing. Ain't no security there. He got about five, maybe t five to eight people from his army there. But we ain't got one security. Okay, this is what we doing. He gets on stage and telling her basically a woman's place is in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant making me a sandwich. You have no place here in the arena. And then when he goes to shoot her, gun don't go off. I was like, yes! He turns around and looks at guard lady who looks at him like, oh, you really thought I was drinking the Kool-Aid like that. Well, Allie got to her. Let her know. Look here, this is all a con. He is a smooth talker, smooth as they come. I bet you even said a few things about your way, hasn't he? Mm-hmm, girl, that's what he do. And she was like, yeah, but you know that whole divine ruler stuff, that turned me off. So I was like, girl, Allie, you did that thing. And they say, you know, Kai is getting his head blown off by Beverly. Now, I did not think Beverly was going to last. I thought that Allie was going to take her out some, some type of way, but she didn't. And she survived. And I guess her and Allie going to be best good friends. But the last time we see Allie, she's tucking Oz in and telling him that she has a meeting to go to. It's not no meeting like what she's, you know, what Kai used to do. This is a women's meeting and we're helping women out. We're doing things. She leaves with one of them green cloaks on. And I'm like, Allie, are you the new women, um, leader of the women's code? Is this what we're doing? Because I cannot think of what that woman's name is. You know the woman from the 60s who like was all about women empowerment and all that stuff. But she ended up going crazy. I guess she's taking over from her and doggone it, her girlfriend who got killed by Allie just a few episodes ago. So, yes, I was like, I was wondering how we was going to pull this together. What was going to happen to everybody? I didn't think that Beverly was going to last. I thought Allie was going to get rid of everybody 
who had had a hand in making her crazy but I guess she felt that hey Beverly learned her lesson I guess I don't know so y'all that was the Jessup one on if I left anything out by all means leave a comment or video response and like I always want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos I want you to like this video comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends on Facebook Twitter Instagram and here on YouTube this is Lady T signing off have a good one.